All right, so this is a weird looking game. You got to fix your eyes for it. That's why we switch jerseys uh, early in it. But anyway, we're running the wrong offense because we didn't recognize they were in a zone. I like how we get it set up immediately. We get the guys set up into our zone offense. Now we got guys cutting from behind the zone. They can't see Isaac cutting. Now here comes Grant. And of course, once we hit that low high action, tie dives, easy layup. We want teams playing zone against us. All right, same <clears throat> same team, same game. Just had to switch jerseys. All right. So now we get a skip pass, and now we're behind. Daniel's behind the zone. It's really tough to see guys that are hiding behind that zone. And he does a great job of that. So watch when we get the ball to Braylon. Because Daniel's on that baseline, nobody on their team can see him back here. And when you catch it back here, somebody got to guard him who will have a layup. And then whoever's slashing right down the middle, easy layup. All right, so this is uh, Phoenix. And I want you all to take a moment. This is a sign of a, of a pretty disciplined team. We have shoot over here, shot ready. We have hands over here, shot ready. So that's number one. Now, as Isaac dribbles up, one of these two have to pick him up or he'll be open. So this guy picks him up. So this is the weak side of the floor. All right. So Isaac throws it to the weak side. So the bottom guy has to come from down here to help, which moves their zone. And Isaac swings it really quick. Now, this is another small thing. Because Isaac moved that bar really quick, this bottom guy has to help. All right. Which makes Elias wide open. Evan does something really small. He pump fakes to keep this guy here. All right. And now when we flash, pass, pass, uh, Elias got to go up quicker, either pump fake and then go up so you can shoot free throws. But because you never took a shot, you don't get free throws. So here's the replay of the play. High, low. All right. Here's another little wrinkle in Phoenix. So first of all, we have the two guys, which everyone comes up and guards the ball. His side is weak side. So Brandon does the right thing, throws it to that weak side. So this guy has to help. This guy's coming to bump. And because Cade sees that, he sets a back screen on this guy. And there's a big ripple effect because of it. So now that Cade's there, he doesn't know it's coming. It's a quick swing. And now uh, this guy has to close out against Ty. All right. And because of that, Elias is coming to be wide open on the baseline. Ty decides he's going to skip it. And now the defense is moving way too much. So even though we're not running the play, there's a huge lane right here. Here comes the paint touch off the dribble. So now that Brandon's there, look at again. Where are eyes looking? Paint touch is so important. Brandon could throw it here to Ty for open look. He could throw it here. He decides to throw it to Elias. All right. And then Elias throws a quick tip out. Uh, K gets a travel. But the paint touch is what, and we're not running offense until somebody does this first. All right. This is one of my favorite plays out of Phoenix. Um, I like it. It's uh, kind of selfless. Uh, and so, like, right here, as, as Jacob clears out, Cade sets a back screen. And it's kind of random. You could tell he's about to flash, right? And then, because it's so clogged up right here, this is how you open it up for him. So Cade's like, oh. He's already reversed the ball up top. Why don't I just set a screen on this guy? So then he stops and sets that screen. Hey, man, and it's a, you know, that's kind of a thankless job, right? Because nobody sees that. All right, so that's a great back screen, and you've done it multiple times throughout the year. So that's really good stuff. Wide open shot. And one of the other times you did it was against Kuz Elite. Isaac called this from the bench, which that was even cooler to see because, you know, it's good to have teammates helping teammates. So we call for a back screen because it was two packed in. And there goes Cade setting that back screen. Wide open three again. All right, another three points. All right, those are team points right there. I mean, he doesn't get that shot without you setting the screen. Of course, Ty has to see the skip. So, I mean, that's something to be really proud of. Way to execute. This was something new that we executed. So we ran Phoenix, but instead of putting Ty or Kavion on the short corner baselines, we put Jacob at the three-point line running corner to corner because it was those uh, those bottom guys were packing it in too much. So we throw it there. All right. And then we go to the other baseline. And because we swing it and extend them, the bottom guy had to guard here. All right, so Jacob's going to run all the way to a three-point line, and Kay does a good job of, like, occupying him. Dribble, make him guard you, and now once Jacob gets to the three-point line, then throw it. All right, so timing is really big. Um, oh, hold on, sorry. Timing is really big here. 
because if if you throw it to him right now, it's not going to be the three points that we set it up for. So you got to wait that guy out. All right, dribble and then throw it once he's at the line. And then uh, bang, good shot. Let's look at all the little things that that little smart plays cause. All right, like I said, Cade and Isaac typically are the guys who set back screens when they're flashing instead of flashing. So what happens is Kate's, I mean, Isaac sets a back screen right here, which now, since he's setting that back screen and Kate swings it really quick, puts this guy at a closeout. Okay? So now that he has a closeout, Jacob takes one dribble, and now guess what? Isaac's open, and guess who has to guard him? The bottom guy, because the ball swung too quick. And it's really because of the one of the things is the back screen and the bad closeout. So now Jacob throws a really good skip pass. Bottom guy helps up. So now uh, ties at the bottom. And now our dive guy is open down the middle. All right. And we just throw it over the top and get a bucket. So just watch the whole thing uh, come open up. All right. Perfect.